In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make menu items in WordPress not clickable. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Let's get started. For example, this menu up here, if I have over more info, these are clickable links, but then this one is not. It just stays here. This is how you do it. First, go into your WordPress dashboard, then go to Appearance and Menus. Find the menu that you're working on. This theme or this site setup has multiple different menus. The primary menu is called navigation. The secondary menu doesn't have one set. There's an off canvas menu. And there's a couple other locations that don't have menus. When I come over here and I go to edit menus, there's a bunch to choose from. So make sure you're picking the correct one. Otherwise your changes are gonna to apply to a different menu. Most sites just have one or two menus. Click on it, click on select to open it. And the menu will be right down here. And now we add our non-clickable link. To do that, Click on custom links, give it the text of more info. In my example, you'd call this what you want, products, languages, I don't know, whatever you need to have in here. And for the URL, put a hashtag. Click on add to menu. And if you're getting value from this video, let me know by liking it and subscribing and leave any questions you may have in the comments down below. Now let's get back to it. I'm gonna move this up to here and now I'm gonna indent everything I want to be as a drop down on the more info link. Click on save menu. Now if we go back out to the website, we see our drop down menu right here. Let's take this one step further. Let's add another one. Custom links, sub sub menu. Let's call it that. You would call it something different, something more appropriate. I'm going to move this up to just below products and I'm going to put R&D and contact underneath that one. Click on save menu. Now if we come back out here and refresh, we have a new menu right here that's also not clickable. I can't click on it. And then more menu items underneath. Next up, check out this video right here where I show you how to remove the word category from category URLs in WordPress. And then check out this video down here where you're gonna learn how to remove the uncategorized category that comes pre-installed by default on all WordPress installs. It's super annoying and it's kind of tricky to get rid of. So make sure you check out that video. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.